We're on. Okay, so this is a wireless set number 17, made in Great Britain in the late 1930s. was used for um, searchlight control and between the searchlight stations and the gunners, of course. It's just a two-tube radio, and I don't know really how many were made, but probably, you know, many tens of thousands of radios because I've seen them in the in the uh, market, surplus market in Europe. The next radio over here is the famous wireless set number 18 that was the communications <laughs> backbone for, provided the communications backbone for the British infantry and was also used by the Royal Air Force. And that's a, a transmitter and a receiver together. It works between uh, 6 and 9 megahertz and it's for a phone and also for telegraphy, of course, and has a rod antennas here and it's carried on the back, operated normally by two people. And the last set on the, my right here is the wireless set number 46 that is uh, normally used for amphibious landings, and that's what it looks like on the front there. It's a nice little thing that you can actually plug in the transmitter output in an extra plug so you can see if you have output power, the light will light up here. The antenna rods are carried in the side pocket of the unit. In the back of the unit, they do have an instruction of how to carry the set and how to use it. And in the back, we do have a... Uh, a rucksack for uh, containing the batteries. <clears throat> now what was used was of course the throat microphone and a headset and there were also the another operator could utilize a regular handset to the thing. And it's only about 350 milliwatts output power so it's very very uh, common maybe to the BC-611 that the United States used for uh, similar. Hello, it's M5UR, portable W6, testing 3885, over. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, it's M5UR testing. This is fun. You it's know, a good leg exercise. Oh, yeah. But it's not very heavy on the full load, but it's only 10 watts output power on the transmitter. Oh, okay. How, how much can you put out on there? Uh, only 10 watts. Oh, okay. If I'm not, if I'm not tromping, it's uh, about 1 watt. Okay, go, go for it. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, I don't two, see one. any meters moving. Oh, the meter is just moving a little bit up there. That's why I have the schematic out. I'm troubleshooting something. Oh, I see. Okay. Right now, but you see the meter here. Here is. Oh, let's see. Here is the one that I have to. Uh, I have to keep up to the to the red mark there. That's what we have to keep it up to in order to uh, get full output power. But it's very easy to do. I see. And it's nice exercise. You don't need to go to these sweat clubs, you know. That's right. That's wonderful. And we can talk radio at the same time. Oh, absolutely. And if you were to mount this in a small boat, uh, you could actually, uh, you know, go out on the lake with it. You could be maritime mobile. Maritime mobile. Yeah. Yeah. Paddling, so yeah. to speak. <laughs> now I'm going to get a shot. Hold on. Don't stop now. All right. Won't stop now. How many hours do you think I'm going to trump on this thing? I might get muscles. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Boy, it's noisy here. Have you worked anybody yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Sure. Yeah, we took this one up a few miles from here and uh, tried it, and it works fine. Okay. Well, thank you for the demonstration. Sure, nothing to it. 73s. Okay, what are you about to do here, Bjorn? All right, I'm going to pack the foot generator, or hand generator, actually, because you can use it both ways. You can sit on this guy. You can operate it by, uh, by hand here, if you want to. Or you can sit in the chair and operate it. But anyhow, it comes together in a, in a very nice and small package. And I think Swedes are the only ones that have foot generators.
And what you do to fold this guy down, flip this over, flip this over. Now you have the generator out. Like that generator. This one goes in here. This guy folds over and this guy goes down. Oops. Generator goes in here. Have a little snap on the back. Like that. I have a little got a map pack. Beautiful. All right. Thank you for the demo.